The countdown is on for Super Bowl 58. Let's bring in with a little Sinatra here, a little uh, luck be a lady. And while the Giants and Jets, well, they have obviously nothing to do with this year's game of the year. That's okay. Plenty of local fans will still be watching, obviously, and placing bets on who's going to win it all this year. Close to 70 million American adults expected to get in on the action. The American Gaming Association predicts fans will wager more than $23 billion on this year's face-off between the Niners and the Kansas City Chiefs. The AGA is the gaming industry's national trade group. Their vice president, Kate DeBon, joins us now with more. Kate, good to see you this morning. Good morning, Chris. All right, so the NFL once frowned upon sports betting. Now they have embraced it wholeheartedly. And this year's game taking place in the capital of gambling, Las Vegas, something 10 years ago you never, ever thought was even imaginable. Um, do you think the numbers predicted could be even bigger for this Super Bowl than what people are already thinking? It's a really exciting full circle moment for our industry. You know, five years ago, legal regulated sports betting was limited to Nevada, and today we're in 38 states in D.C. And so the big game is a big moment for our industry, and all eyes are on Las Vegas. Um, one in four American adults are going to be wagering this year in the big game, and uh, that's exciting to get in the action and, and have a little bit more fun with the game. But let me ask you, you know, being in this industry, when you now, you can't watch a television broadcast or, or any sports broadcast without seeing some type of tie-in, any sports shows, whether it's ESPN or whatnot, everybody is so all in on this now. And it was seen as such taboo for so many years. I mean, the thought of even putting an expansion franchise of any professional team in Vegas was seen as a new no way, cannot do that. But now, literally, the gloves are off. Are you even surprised? how quickly everyone has adopted and gotten in on this? So the thing is, Americans have been betting on sports as long as there's been sports to bet on. The difference now is that it's in a legal regulated marketplace. And so I'm not surprised to see the leagues and media embrace this new opportunity because it's happening in a way that there's oversight in you know 38 states in D.C. Um, as far as people getting all in on some of the action this Super Bowl Sunday, uh, your thoughts on that? Is it just, it's not just the gamblers, I, I think is, is safe to say. This is kind of the casual fan as well. Now, because as you've alluded to, it's so easy to do it. I mean, it's literally at the tip of your fingers if you're in one of those 38 states that complies. You know, the Super Bowl has always been the biggest event for uh, betting annually, and that's because there's, you know, legal regulated options, but there's also the casual bet that, you know, office pools uh, folks make among friends, and we're seeing growth in both of those this year. Um, and that's what's exciting to me, that this is a way to get in and have a little bit more fun. And, you know, some people are in it for the ads, some people are in it for the snacks, some people are in it for Taylor Swift, and some people just get a little bit of action on the game. All right, so let's talk about this thing called prop bets, which some people at home may not know what a prop bet is. So give me a, a brief uh explainer on the prop bet and what are some of the more popular props out there for this Sunday? So prop bets are what it's action on what's happening in the game. So that could be the coin toss. It could be what Travis Kelsey's up to in terms of yards. Is there going to who's going to score the first touchdown? Will there be a return from the kickoff for a touchdown? It makes the game a little bit more engaging throughout. You know, maybe we get a dud of a game. Maybe we don't. But either way, you can watch all four quarters and have a little bit of fun with it. Would one of those prop bets potentially be how many times you're actually going to see Taylor Swift cheering in the box? <laughs> <laughs> This might be one uh, for the dads, brads, and chads, as Taylor says, but no legal regulated sports book is offering any action on Taylor Swift. We're focused on what's happening on the field. Uh, okay. All right. Well, that, that, that's a good one for now. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Everything is subject to change, of course. Kate, thanks so much. We do appreciate you taking a couple of moments. Thanks so much. Have, uh, have a game plan and bet responsibly, guys. You got it. Of course, remember, Super Bowl 58 live from Vegas is this Sunday, February 11th, right here on CBS2. You can also stream it live on Paramount+. Plus, and it is going to be a huge, huge day ahead of the game. Everything you need to know about the Sin City Showdown, tune in for a special preview streaming Saturday, 7 p.m. on CBS News New York. And we will be right back.